Hello, this is Breakfast with John Kay and Sally Nugent. Just after half past eight, it's lovely to have you with us. And we're asking, what do Morecambe and Wise, Frank Sinatra and the Beatles all have in common? Guess what? They have all performed here. Blackpool. <laughs> and this week, the town's illustrious history of entertainment is being celebrated with a new multi-million pound attraction. Yeah, this looks great, this museum. It's called Showtown. It opens to the public on Friday, but you'd have to wait till Friday because our arts correspondent, David Silito, has got a sneak preview for us. Every year when the summer comes round, off to the sea I go. I don't care Hello and welcome to Blackpool. Yes, welcome to Blackpool and Showtown. Hello, sir. A new multi-million pound attraction telling the story of Blackpool's place in the history of entertainment. Where's Charlie Caroli? Is, is it? I'm leaning on a lamppost at the corner of the street. The girls took me round somewhere. I think it's round this way. I think is it's round this way. All right. <laughs> oh, here we go. And I invited... A Blackpool connoisseur to test it out. That to me, You're enjoying this, aren't you? I, I really am. It's, uh, it's fantastic, really, isn't it? It's round here. Oh, here you go. Go on, do a bit of the Buddy Holly. I love him doing this. Go on, do Buddy Holly. Said Little of Little and Large. Born in Blackpool. Lived in the 70s and 80s. On the top of the bill. 1979. Wow. Your heyday. Two shows a day, look at that, 6, 10 and 8, 50. And You're doing at... two shows a day? Yeah, yeah. How many days a week? Six days a week, that's what you did. And then you got Sunday off? Uh, no, you went to, to Scarborough or somewhere like that and did a one-night show. You're working show. seven days a week, two seven shows a day? Seven days a week, yeah, that was always the go in the 60s. Ali Bongo, uh, Norman really? Wisdom, Frank Carlson, look at that. Oh, there's no business like show Sid knows his stuff. Smile. He really oh, has. They are, are Charlie Carolla. Look at that. The Met everyone. Beginning there. with the town's most in famous clown. Charlie Carolla is a legend. You know. So you, you played with the Carollis? Yes. Keith Harris. Oh, Norville. He, he hated. He hated that green dog. They always hate the, the thing that made them famous. It's amazing, uh, you know. He hated the duck? He didn't like the duck, no, no. And that was just the beginning. Uh, Victoria Wood, she was our guest on our radio show. Even Vic and Bob. We actually did their TV show. Everybody that was anybody played Blackpool. However, Blackpool these days isn't quite what it was. It is a familiar story in seaside towns of Britain, but this is a chance to remember what made this place great when it really was for millions the home of entertainment. There is such a lot to celebrate in Blackpool and we're here to do just that. It's not the richest of towns now. This is a reminder of just how extraordinary the place is, isn't it? I think that's really fair to say. Yeah, Blackpool is quite easily knocked, to be honest. It is a town that is well-worn, well-used and in real need of additional development. Look, Stan Laurel's hat. Orville and his silver disc. And, of course, Strictly. So how many shows are we talking about in the 60s, 70s? Oh, you had 25 shows. So 25 day. venues? Venues, yeah, yeah. But that's not 25 shows, then? No, sometimes they had multiple shows a day. Quick I mean, that's thousands and thousands of people, isn't it? Absolutely. More than the West End in London. Oh, bigger than the West End? Yeah, yeah. So that you could have more bums on seats in Blackpool per day than you could at uh, uh, the West End in London. After dark, Lancashire's favourite resort becomes a black pool of light. It's the Illuminations, and everybody's welcome who prefers the Blackpool prom to the Albert Hall kind. Absolutely everyone seems to have played Blackpool. We've got the Beatles, Frank Sinatra, <laughs> Lady Gaga, Stiller. <coughs> oh, sooty and sweep, of course, because, uh, what's that? Yeah, your proper Blackpool talent. <coughs> you're from Blackpool. 19... What was it? 19, 1948. <coughs> so this is your 75th anniversary year. <coughs> Oh, you're looking, oh, you're looking pretty good actually for being 75 years old. Oh, I do to like to be inside then... the seaside. <laughs> and Sid, you're enjoying Fantastic. this, aren't you? I blink, you know, it's miles better than I thought it would be. He didn't want to yeah, leave. Really is. David Salato, BBC News, Blackpool.